just puts my hand in the air and says, that's easy for me, boys. Crime. <laughs> Crime. I'm a dirty just trucker. Mate. You, mate, bro. I'm a shocker. Oh. Oh. G'day there legends, make sure you go check out my athlete programs, you do get 20% off if you use the code weekly vlog, all of the links are down in the description of this video, best comment can also win a program, let's get into this video. G'day guys, before we get into this video, make sure you go back and watch the previous video which is basically just a week in my life, how I've got back from injury uh, quickly, how I have uh, prepared myself for this game, in terms of nutrition, training, uh, the help that I get from professionals such as physios and, and, um, and movement professionals and all that sort of stuff the team around that I basically have to, to help me get back onto the park. So go and have a look at that. It'll give you a lot of good information on how to get back as quickly as you possibly can. And of course, what to eat, um, what I eat, how I train, all that sort of stuff will be absolutely essential for you guys out there that are looking to achieve that peak performance or better your game in any way that you possibly can. So go have a look at that. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into this game day vlog. It's good to be back. The return, finally, we're back playing footy. So let's get to it. 10 in the morning, train at 11, right? 12, say 12, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to 2. Um, you have to let your body recover, so you eat, recover, whatever. You get back out, you train, start training again at 6, train from 6 to 8, right? And now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it again, right? Those are two sessions, right? Now imagine you wake up at 3, you train at 4, you go 4 to 6, come home, breakfast, relax, so so, blah, blah, blah. now you're back at it again. Morning guys, hopefully you are doing very, very well. I am doing not so well, obviously, returning from injury, struggling a little bit to, to get um, like full range of motion through my legs still, still limping on it, but I'm gonna um, toughen up, and, I guess, and play and see how we go. So, um, yeah, let's we'll see how we go. On our way down to the beach with the, uh, the dog, it's not a great day, it's been a terrible week, it's been pouring with rain so the ground's going to be very very wet which will probably benefit me because it won't mean there'll be too much more running for me to do hopefully. We'll see how we go. Headspace that it's gonna to have to do something that it might not want to do today. So, force your body to do things sometimes that you don't want to do. Time for a quick shower, and then obviously my skincare routine. Shout out to my skincare elite, and uh, then we can get ready for the game. We big for breakfast. Changing it up, I like it. Let's get it with some honey and sugar. Let's go. Bag is in. We'll go grab a coffee and then we'll get off to footy. Game day, baby, let's go! Yes, sir! Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you uh, for the pregame sort of stuff. We've got the stuff in the back ready to go. I'm not gonna get a coffee, I don't have time. I'm always late because I'm just bad with time uh, because I'm too busy freaking vlogging and videoing and stuff. Um, well, I was, I've, been, I've pretty much always been bad with time, but that's all right. Come on, go the Noosa Tigers. Hopefully, we get the win today against Surfers. Sun is shining, uh, which is lovely. The clouds are starting to clear. 
think the ground's gonna be a little bit wet, so we're gonna, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully won't affect my game too much, um, considering I've only be playing on one leg. But let's get it. Go the Tigers. G'day guys and girls, welcome back to another Prime Train vlog. Thank you so much for watching all these vlogs. A massive shout out, of course, to Mixed Media for doing all of these vlogs. It's great to be back playing some footy. It's obviously such a, uh, I guess, grounding moment for you when you do get injured. You have to start to become a lot more grateful of every single game that you do play. And I think that is something for me. Probably wasn't as grateful for, you know, getting out and being allowed to play football, you know, every single week with my mates. And it's a really good thing when you do get injured because you just have to remind yourself of how lucky you are to pull on the boots every week and, and have a kick around with your mates and how much you enjoy football. I guess you really forget about it um, when you're playing and, you know, every single week you get to run out there with your mates. But when you do miss out on a game, it is, uh, it's, yeah, it's just, it, it sucks so much. So it's great to be back playing footy in the sunshine at Noosa. Few uh, great start for the for the Noosa Tigers. We've got Tebbs here who's kicked his first goal. So if you've gone back and watched the previous vlog, he's done everything right throughout the week to get his corky better. Obviously not as bad as mine. Uh, no, I think it could have been pretty bad. You can see here when I'm running, I can get that right leg up, but my left leg just isn't quite getting that full range of motion. So I am still getting a little bit of a limp. We kick a goal, they kick a goal. It's a little bit of back and forth. If you're playing that high half forward role, which is what I'm playing during this game, get up into the uh, stoppages as much as you can, and you can get a few handballs and, and kicks around the stoppages like that. Um, good almost touch here. This is a good one for Dill Buckley. Uh, we'll count that as an almost touch for the week. Uh, make sure that you're always following out your player from D50 as well, because a lot of the time they can break lines when they do get forward from that handball receive out the back. So make sure you're always following your player. Again, playing that half forward role, make sure you get back and get up. You still have to get back um, and help out your defense as much as you possibly can. Now I'm struggling to get my hands on the ball here. So I am trying to um, just find a pocket of space to get myself off the mark and try and get a kick long down the line, which is good. Uh, probably shouldn't be there as a half forward, but like I said, just trying to get up and back as much as I possibly can. Possibly can. Got the Jack Ginnivan rule at the moment, uh, not getting any high tackle free kicks. And then start to get into the game a little bit more um, with a few handballs and stuff here. Stay down and you can get the ball out the back as a half forward over the top here to my good mate Wally, um, who gets it forward. Uh, unfortunately, it ends up being a turnover, but trying to... I end up laying a lot of tackles in this game. Um, make sure if you can't get into the game with hands, get it into the game with tackles. End of the first quarter, 27 to 26. They had the win in the first quarter, so we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. We, we are higher than this team on the ladder, um, but unfortunately, that doesn't mean that you're going to uh, beat them, of course. Uh, you've got to go into the game with um, you know, the same mindset every single time as much as you possibly can. Lucky to not be given holding the ball here is a terrible handball from me. Again, I'm, I'm definitely nursing that leg a lot. I'm nervous. I get absolutely ragged old here. Um, I am nervous about getting another knock on it, so I am a little bit tentative going into packs and contests and stuff. Uh, make sure that you always locate as soon as the uh, you know as soon as the opposition get the ball, locate someone as quickly as possible, and then point out to your teammates to locate someone as well. Really, really important. If you aren't playing, you know, offense is only half of the game. Defense is a massive part of it as well. So make sure that you can get to every single contest and make sure you locate someone. Playing uh, pretty deep forward. Here in the second quarter, again, playing that half forward, deep forward roll. And full forward, I'm like, oh, I'm so on. There's no one within probably 50 meters of me. I just needed a little handball or kick over the top. And the bunts has like dribble kicked it. And it's just like been the worst kick. Anyway, got a tackle. But uh, me and Bunce had a little bit of a laugh about it after. I'm frustrated. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Look at me, man. I'm such a moody little dog. I uh, was such a diva. And then anyway, I go up to, Bunce comes up to me and he goes, oh, mate, I need to learn how to kick on my left. I said, it's all good, brother. Don't stress. I would never get angry at my teammates for that because like, it's just like, it's just whatever. Like, if you're going to spray your teammates for that sort of stuff, like, I don't know. It's all right. Plenty of um, second and third efforts here. I'm really trying to work myself into the game because I'm, I am really scared to go in for contact because of my leg, but just trying to get on the move as much as I possibly can, lay some big tackles. That is that is an aggressive tackle. Nice work. And I try to steal it off him and then kick a goal, but 
umpire wouldn't let me anyway. But this is a great example of just going and going again in that uh, forward 50 push off. Get it again here, get the hit out. Uh, handball it over to Wally, who handballs it to uh, Captain Aaron Lasky, who goes bang with a snag. Very excited. It's Aaron Lasky's Bucks party next week, so we'll be going out after that. LFG. Um, end of the second quarter, started to get my hands on it a little bit more, which was good. Starting to move a little bit better here, which was nice. Wheel around on the left foot. Tried to kick it a wheel on, it just fell a little bit short, but that's all right. The end of the second quarter, we did have the wind in that quarter. It's 66 242. So, right by four goals. We do get a little bit of a spray actually at half time um, for, yeah, trying to be better. They kicked the first goal in the third after half time. I'm, now, remember as a forward, keep moving, move around as much as you possibly can because defenders hate it when you're always on the move. If you just stand there with a hand up, um, then they're not, they're, it's easy to defend. I tried to convince the umpire about it being delivery. I said, You thought about it. He said, Yep, I'd love to be mic'd up for some of these games because it would be good to show you guys what happens. Uh, on the lead here, I just it's just not my day. Like, I just can't get my hands on the ball. <laughs> and someone comes across it and gets it. I literally just can't. I look really disinterested here and then, you know, go for it. Don't quite get it. That's all right. Uh, again, like I kept saying, second effort. This probably could have been holding the ball. But again, I'm trying to get myself into the game by tackle pressure as much as I possibly can. This is pretty much all I do in this quarter, just tackle pressure. Could have been holding the ball again, but didn't get it. Um, and then, yeah, I was literally just on a tackle rampage in this third. I don't think I, I think I had like one or two touches, but I was playing real deep forward and the ball was kind of just staying out down there, but it's really important. Second efforts and third efforts are really important, but also taking pride in the ball staying, again, another tackle, taking pride in the ball being inside your forward 50 and trying to keep it in there. Got the bloke up. He thought I was probably going to hit him, but I don't really do that sort of stuff. I don't really have much care for it. Um, Again, like, I'm just around it, but then the ball just wasn't bouncing my way. Look at how moody I am. Like, mate, the ball just... It would literally bounce in front of me and then just, like, bounce away. Try to, like, kick it out here. To basically kicked it backwards, which is not very good. Uh, another couple of tackles here, uh, which is good. Like I said, I'm just trying to get my defensive acts and trying to get the pressure up as much as I possibly can because I'm not really getting much of the ball, but eventually pressure, 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 and we do kick a goal. EJ goes bang at the big man, Ethan Johnston. I wouldn't say big, but uh, he is a nifty little left foot forward pocket. I'm giving my good mate Joshy Wallace a bit of stick here because he did miss one from the goal square just before, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, almost kick a goal here, but just stopped it. Again, like I was a bit tentative to go in for it there as well. Because of my leg, like I'm just really nervous about getting another hit on it. At the end of the third, 87 to 64, we're up. We're in a pretty safe position um, as long as we, you know, stay up and about. And <laughs> and I'm saying to Joshy Wiles, I don't reckon I've had a kick. I don't reckon I've had a kick today. I've been shocking. And he goes to me, "You'll be right, mate. I reckon you kick five in this quarter." Um, like I said, I'd love to be marked up for some of these conversations because they're always pretty funny. Uh, we actually kick the first goal here, which is nice. Bunce has a bit of uh, finger guns going, which we are absolutely loving there. <laughs> Absolute king. He's usually a backline uh, player, Bunce, but uh, yeah, in the forward line, which was good. And this is another example here of, like, I'm just scared to go down and pick it up because I'm scared of my leg. Try to soccer it to my mate, Stacky, and I'm getting so much stick. There's a good amount of surfers boys here, a little crowd there that are just going... You're no good, mate. You suck. And I'm saying, boys, just look at the scoreboard. It's right next to you. We're up by 40, 40 points by now. Um, how about you just look at the scoreboard? And yeah, they're telling me they're a bit of back and forth. I'm having a pretty shocking game. So um, I've decided to give it back to them and say, just look at the scoreboard, boys. But uh, as usually happens, as soon as you start to get into me, I will start to um, come into the game a little bit more because I've got to prove myself. Unfortunately, didn't get the goal here. What the hell? I thought that was a goal. I reckon I got robbed of one there, but should have just kicked it out of the air instead of like soccering it. Uh, anyway, then the op then the then our supporters are saying, um, <laughs> giving me a bit of stick as well. And so I'm like, boys, we're on the same team. You can't be giving me stick. Willow goes bang here with a big uh, grab and free kick. <laughs> the boys, it's funny at the end of the game, you can't just start chatting with um, with other people. They're saying, 
what were you thinking before? You should have just kicked it out of, out of the air. This is a really good example of being a half forward. Get up the ground and then follow the ball and get back because you will end up getting it. Finally, get off the mark with a goal and it was with a soccer goal and I'm just like far out. Thank the Lord because nothing was really going right for me. I was having a bit of a shocker, but that's all right. Always try and make a contest as much as you possibly can in the forward line. Make sure we get a goal out of it. It's the worst thing when the opposition gets the freaking ball and um, takes an easy, like, uncontested or contested mark in the back line. Just take a lot of pride in never letting your player ever take a mark uh, against you. Mav here, Maverick, is just absolutely hit me on the tit with this kick. It was an absolute beautiful kick. And like I said, once the opposition starts getting to me from the boundary line, I'll start to pick up my bundle a bit and start to get into the game. Great kick. And all the boys are giving me a bit of stick here as well. They're saying, oh, nice of you to join. Nice of you to join us, mate. <laughs> because we haven't seen you all day. And I said, yeah, I'm probably due. I'm probably due a goal here. I think one of the boys was saying, yeah, you're due. You're due a highlight because you probably haven't had any today. I said, fair enough. So I went back and uh, made sure I got this one from outside 50. And just, um, yeah, happy with it. Joshua Wall's always first. So is Aaron Lasky to give me a high five. And the boys were very kind getting around me. Uh, they knew that I'd been a bit unhappy with my day so far. So they definitely got around me and I was having a bit of a laugh about it because I was like far out. I've just had like an absolute nightmare today. But we started to really kick away in this last quarter, um, getting it in as long as we possibly can. But know when it's your time to fly and when it's not. Unfortunately, no one flew here. And then I'm going for the ball here. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Try to get it here, get a handball out. And then someone hits me um, in, a, in my shin. And oh my God, I'm in so much pain here. The same leg, the leg that I've been working on all week. And oh my God, I'm in so much pain here. I'm like, oh no, got to come off. So I missed the last 15 minutes of the game. And the coach was like, mate, just, just relax. You can see that inside of my leg has got a really big egg on it, golf ball. But yeah, that's the end of me talking. Is it on? <laughs> yep. Oi, we've got, we've got. We go. <laughs> can you give us a bit of a rev up? Here we go. <laughs> How'd the boys go today? Yeah, no, brilliant. Yeah, really good. I, I thought it was a great game by you guys. Just kept at it, we went hard, and uh, yeah, we, we come home with the with the points. Avalanche of goals in the last. Oh, that was that's what we were watching. It was it was good. And I backed you in a couple of times here. I see he doesn't miss. TikTok never and I did misses. It. <laughs> never misses. I had one never. on the goal square they took away from me. <laughs> oh, get out. Couldn't believe it, mate. No, I had a mare today, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. The boys got the win. That's all that matters. All righty, guys. Welcome back uh, to the end of the Prime Train Vlogs. Thank you so much for obviously watching everything. Uh, I think I had four touches today, which was a record for me, but I've got the big man here, Johnny Freeman, who kicked seven frees. How'd you go out there today? Oh, it was pretty fun. Yeah. Um, was an avalanche of goals in the last. Yeah, I know, the Fud gates opened, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I chipped in. <laughs> you might remember Freeze from one of the first vlogs, uh, Wilston Grange, I reckon, you came on. Um, you've been begging me to come on to the Prime Train vlogs the whole time, and I finally got you back on. Do you have anything to say to all your fans out there? Um, yeah, Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, we're tracking pretty well this year. Uh, I think we're sitting in fifth at the moment. Obviously, got the big win today, a bit of a percentage boost. How are the boys tracking? Oh, really good. I think like we um, we struggled a bit through the middle part of the season, but yep. we're starting to get a few 
numbers back and find our mojo again. So, no, it's, you'd rather come good at this time of year for sure. Exactly. We've got three games left. Uh, Palmy next week. How many are you going to kick next week? As many as the team wants me to, Bulch. <laughs> <laughs> Another seven would be nice. All right. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, Freeze. Uh, obviously, big shout out to you. People want to train a bit like you and kick seven. Uh, where can they find you? Um, yeah, on my Instagram page, I do a bit of one-on-one -on -one football, um, yep. so yeah, keen to help out whoever's Beauty. who's up for it. So Specialising in kicking snags. Well, we'll keep working on it. <laughs> Very good guys, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it every single week, you guys are amazing. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff, I absolutely love you, stay sexy, thank you.